We got a clown story. You've probably seen this. Police officer drives off after BLM attacked a car at anti-Trump protests in Sacramento. God's like, what? What did you expect? What are you doing out there, kids? Go home. All right, so they're all standing by the car. They start banging on the car. This guy jumps on the car. They're all pushing their chest on the car. What are you doing? That's a car. Haven't you ever seen man versus car? The car always wins. So in all honesty, this could have gone way worse. When I first heard about this, I thought it was way worse. This isn't that bad. This guy, what are you doing? Literally like it's GTA where you stand on top of a car and then you just like shoot down or something and the car goes crazy, you try to surf it. Damn, bam, he took a face of the, of the, the pavement. And that's your payment, because you're a retard. I'm sorry. But that was stupid. But you know who else is stupid? The lady going, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, look. This is great, too. A cop car comes up almost to, like it was going to see if this guy was okay. And then watch what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. He bangs on the cop car again. He's <laughs> like, all right, I'm fucking. I guess I'm leaving. You guys seem to have this under control. Lamau. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This girl's face. I think. She... <laughs> All these people are like, "Yes, we're finally a part of one of those moments. We did it." You've heard of fifteen minutes of fame. This is 15 seconds of fame. You get 15 seconds. Black trans lives matter. I'm not gonna say they don't, I'm just like, who asked you? <laughs> Yeah, so, um, just a word of advice, I, it's, it's like I didn't want to do this story because I was like, another one, really? They're gonna, of course they're gonna run through the crowd, of course they are. Crowds don't belong in the street. If, if you put, if you put a whole protest in a shark tank, they're gonna get eaten by sharks because the people shouldn't be in the shark tank. You know, like, people shouldn't be in the street, in the highways. You, sh you shouldn't be in the fucking streets. What do you want? What do you really want? What do your signs say? Black trans lives matter. And this cop had something to do with why you think that they maybe don't? Wait, or why you think that maybe other people think that maybe they don't? Did this guy tweet about it? Why do you care? I don't know. It's just stupid. This guy especially... Like, what are you thinking, bro? Like, basic physics. You gotta get low if you're gonna try to, like, you know, you gotta double leg like, take down the car. I believe it's a charger. I don't know if you, if you this guy about to throw a water bottle? No. Dude, what are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Did you think like, oh, I know for sure. I'll force his hand, I'm gonna jump on it, and then he won't be able to, to drive because he's a cop, he can't. Oh wait, did he break the windshield? Is that what that was? No. It's a cop windshield. It's probably really strong. And they're all just like, no! This could never have been seen. Wait, climate action now? Is that what that says? Climate? Cli yeah, I think that says climate action. Yeah, climate action now. Dude, are these... Uh, what's the point of these protests? You guys need one goal, 
and everybody focuses on the goal. That's the whole point is you all are stronger when you all work together. But if you just have like these parties in the street where everybody just comes and like it's like a Halloween party for liberals. Like you all just get to dress up like liberals and everybody picks a different topic. Like what does this cop have to do with climate change? The fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are so unorganized. That's why nobody takes you seriously. That's why nobody listens to you. That's why nothing ever gets done in your mind. Because you're making jokes of yourself. You guys are clowns. You're, you're like the full honk honk. Like 100%. So hopefully this guy learned a lesson. That what was it? Was it Teen Wolf when they do the car surfing? Like, bro, you gotta either hold on or or never get on the car. You can't do half of either. If you're gonna jump on the car, you gotta hold on. There's lots of shit for you to hold on up here. Oh, but he loses it. It's a slippery car. Safety, service, and security. Now this right here is a meme. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot. I'm gonna get that screenshot real quick. Safety, service, and security. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that wraps it up. Uh, yeah, uh, be a good person. Stay vigilant. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt. <laughs> I'll link to this channel. If you like this type of content, you can check out the description. And shout out to all the people who do support this type of stuff. Because I think we need to uh, not let our kids go into the streets. All my friends think that only retards go into the streets, but I, I don't have that many friends. <laughs> but surely, we could influence our friends to be like, "Hey, man, you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go into the street and try to block traffic." Oh, uh, okay. You wanna come over and I don't know, work out instead. You wanna you just invite? You know, you don't have to like tell them that what they're doing is retarded because people don't usually listen that in that type of tone. But if you in, offer them something better, like how about instead of just causing a big clusterfuck outside and a big PR scandal for everyone involved, how about you come work on yourself and we do something productive? Come on, let's work. Let's, let's do some laps. Come on, we'll do push-ups. It'll be fun. We could. We'll fucking. We'll get food after. Eat food, man. Are these people hungry? Do they want food? What do you think it would take to get these kids off the streets? <laughs> you know, and they were talking about like, we got to make sure we gotta get these kids off the streets. Back in the day, I had no idea that they were going to be, it was going to be about this. I didn't know that's why they were in the streets. I thought they were in the streets because they were like prosti prostituting themselves or selling drugs or something. Now they're literally in the street. In the streets. Like, what the fuck? All right, I digress. Uh, be a good person. Call your mom. Peace.